Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about solving equations. These equations are under multi-step equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Actually guys, this is the part 2 of our topic about these equations. So you can see the part 1 here, and I will put the link in our description box. Let's try number 1. Find the value of a variable in each equation. In number 1, we are given 4 times x minus 15 is equal to 5 times x plus 10. As you can see, on both sides of the equation, we will use here the safety property as well as on the other side of the equation. First, let's multiply 4x for an x. That would be 4x. Next, for negative 15, we have 4 times negative 15, that is negative 60. That would be equal to 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times 10, that would be 20. This is plus 20. So our next step here, as you can see the equation, we have a variable here. And on the other side, we need to isolate the variables on the left side and the constants on the right side of the equation. First, we will eliminate, or we will just use transposition. I will transpose 2x to the other side. It will become 4x. From positive, it will become negative 2x. And as for negative 60, I will transpose it to the other side. And this is equal to 20. Then from minus 60, it will become plus 60. So this is 2x is equal to 20 plus 60. That would be 80. Now, we can divide both sides of the equation by 2. Cancel this out, cancel this out, your x is equal to 80 divided by 2, which is equal to 40, and the value of x for this given equation is simply 40. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, it is 4 times x plus 3 minus 2 is equal to 6. Now for this equation, guys, we will also use the simplicity property. Transpose this or multiply this. 4 times x, that is 4x. Here, 4 times 3, that is plus 12. Copy minus 2 is equal to 6. Now, before I isolate the constants on the other side of the equation, we need to simplify this part 12 minus 2. So that would be 4x. 10 minus 2 is 10, so plus 10 is equal to 6. On this part, as you can see, we can put it here. So this will become 4x is equal to 6 from positive. Remember, huh? when you're transposing a term to the other side of the equation, it will change the sign. It will become minus 10. So this is 4x is equal to 4, uh, 6 minus 10. That is negative 4, and your divisor will be the number beside the variable. So this is cancel, cancel, x is equal to negative 1. The value of x here is negative 1. Now, I hope you are learning something from this part of the video. And let's continue solving for the variable x. Let me change our marker because nawawala na. Let's continue. We have 3 times x plus 5 minus 6x is equal to negative 18. Here, we will use the distributive property also. Multiply, this is 3x, 3 times 5, that would be plus 15, then copy, minus 6x is equal to negative 18. Here, what we need to combine is 3x and negative 6. 3x minus 6x, this is negative 3x plus 15. Copy 15 is equal to negative 18. Now, okay, we will transpose 15 to the other side. This is negative 3x is equal to negative 18. Transpose this, minus 15. 
This is negative 3x is equal to negative 18 minus 15. That would be negative 33. Now, since we have here negative 3, our divisor is negative 3. Cancel this out. Your x is equal to negative times negative is positive. This is 33 over 3, which is positive 11 because the two numbers or the two integers are both negative. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And as part of our routine, I want you to try and solve for the value of x given this equation 5x plus 2 times x plus 10 is equal to 83. Remember, huh? you have this grouping symbol. It simply means that you need to use the distributive property. And what is the value of x? You can comment down below about your solution or what is the real value of x for this equation. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!